Hi, Alan Hart. Could you do a video on the Salus Smart Controls? Yeah, no problem. So I've got the Salus Smart Home at my house. I think it's absolutely brilliant for what I need. To start with, you need a UG600. So this is the gateway. So this connects you to the internet. So that's the most important thing that you need to start with. And how you would do that, you connect that to your router, connect it up, make it get it working and then you can unplug it and you can put this wherever you want it house so if you need to move this and put somewhere central to where all the controls are to make it work better then then you'd use that that's the ug 600 and then from that if you're having a gas boiler on it you'd use a rx 10 rf so that's just a, a connection for your gas boiler um so that just turns your gas boiler on and off and then you can adapt the system to whatever you want from that it, the actual possible is are endless so you can have a thermostat so that's a quantum so these are the ultra slim thermostats they're really really thin that you can put on your wall and there where you have a battery charger where you can just charge them up so and i'll show you that as well and then you've got your smart trvs as well so they'd go replace the trv head on your radiator and you just put a smart one on but then from that, you can adapt that. As I say, the possibilities are endless. On my system, I've got quite a few smart relays. And you can do all sorts with smart relays, to be honest. You can wire them into boilers, which I've done in that boiler there, just so I can change it from my ISR seat pump to my boiler. Pipe stats or pipe sensors. So these are really good. You can use them for all sorts. And you can set rules to turn things on and off. There's also smart plugs as well, which again, you can connect onto the Salus Smart Home. And the good thing about it, it's all just in one app. So you can control all sorts with that. I use that one there just to charge electric car. So that's actually just on a timer. So when we know that we're getting cheap energy overnight on an overnight tariff, then it'll just charge the car at a cheap rate. So that's on a second car that we've got. There's also motion sensors and there's also smoke alarms as well. And you can add all these onto the smart home. And one good idea, you could use a motion sensor for a bathroom and that could bring on a secondary return pump for your hot water. If you've got any other ideas for a motion sensor, please put a comment below. The possibilities are just endless, so I can't cover everything in one video. But if you do have any more questions on Salah's smart home, then please put some comments below.